Welcome to the last video. If you made it all the way here, well done. Let's nail the last one. So here we'll be adding another language on the website by using a plugin called Polylang. Then we'll be using Google Translate and ChatGPT to translate the homepage as an example and add a language menu in the footer. Let's go. Okay, let's go to plugins and add new. Type in Polylang, look for this logo and click install now, then activate. On this page, we want to add the languages we want to use. Let's say the default language is UK English and the second language is Peninsular Spanish. Add your choices to continue. Let's allow Polylang to translate media content automatically. Continue. Then we need to assign the default language, which in this case is English, and continue. Nothing to do here, so click continue and ready. Next, we can click view pages. Here, we can see that a language column is added on the rows and that we have the Spanish version waiting for editing. Let's hold down the control key and click it to open it to a new tab. And for the original, we want to open that in Elementor to be able to copy the content. On the Spanish edit page, we can also open it in Elementor. Now, in the English page, press Ctrl and I on the keyboard to open the navigator and by holding down the control key, click the sections one by one to select them all. Once all are selected, right click and copy the elements. Let's change to the Spanish tab and on top the empty box, right click and paste. This way we can copy the entire page without the need to build any parts again. From the bottom left corner, we can hide the title, hit update and start translating the page. How to do this? I'll be using ChatGPT and Google Translate here as an example. Let's start pasting some text to Google Translate. And then vice versa, copy the translated back to the new page and replace the text on the text field in Elementor toolbar to avoid these formatting issues. Same for the description and we can add some line breaks to make it look nicer. Then we can change the buttons. If you're not fluent in the second language, it's better to translate than guess. And it's also a good idea to ask someone to proofread the translation who speaks the language. I'm not fluent, but any level obviously helps. Okay, let's try ChatGPT for translating the next section. Copy and paste with a short prompt for instructions. Again, let's remember to paste the text on the left side to follow the right styling. And yes, the same applies for the description, paste on the left. Click anywhere to update the preview. Looks good. Then back to Google Translate, let's stack some translations together and replace the English titles. Following this simple process, we can translate each section one by one. It's up to you if you prefer to use ChatGPT or Google Translate. Both obviously work really well, but maybe the workflow is faster on Google Translate. Note that the blog posts in the source language are not translated and not shown automatically on the homepage blog section. Once we got the testimonial section translated, let's remember to save the changes. Next, we need to have a way how the user can change the language, so let's create a menu from appearance. Click on the text, create a new menu. Let's give a name like footer language and add the languages item on the menu. Click Save Menu and Open Languages drop down to find more options. We can enable Display Flags and Save again. Back in Elementor, let's first reload the page and scroll down to edit the footer. Click on the footer to edit it. 
type nav in search or simply grab the WordPress menu if visible and drop it under the social media buttons. Great. Align it in the middle, remove the pointer and from style, change hover text color to blue. Let's update the page and optionally adjust the widget space of the column for better spacing. Update and from top menu, let's go to view page. As you can see, the block text are not shown if there is no translation, but otherwise it looks great. And in the bottom, we can now see the English and Spanish flags. Let's give it a try. First English and then Spanish. Both work like a charm. Lastly, let's open languages from dashboard to see the list of languages. The one that has a star is the default language of the site and you can change it by assigning the star on the other language. We can test it by opening the homepage again. And so let's revert back to English and this completes our course. Congratulations. If you managed to complete the course and arrived here, you have definitely learned a lot on the way, building a complete website from scratch. And you probably have some questions. Please join the Discord server to join the community to get some answers. I'm also eager to hear any feedback you'd like to give about the course. You can write to me directly to mark at scrib.com and I'll be happy to read your message. And for more tips, ideas and guides, subscribe to Scrib channel on YouTube if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the other side. Thank you.